wolves, hyenas, and frost. Oh my. What's up everybody? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Alpha, the newest film by Albert Hughes, who you might remember from directing such films as The Book of Eli, Men's Society, and Dead Presidents. It also stars Cody Smith McPhee. And the story is about a kid who is growing up about 20,000 years before modern Europe, and he's being groomed and trained to take over a tribe, but in order to do that he has to pass tests, he has to become stronger, he basically has to learn how to be the alpha male of the group, learn how to grow by killing animals, killing bison. The movie starts out as they're hunting bison, and it all goes wrong, and then they fear that he's dead, and you know, then it shows some backstory, some flashbacks about what led up to that moment, about how Cody Smith McPhee's character is, he cares more about his heart and about the animal than he does about survival. And the story basically shows what happens when, when you're faced against all odds and you have to survive against the elements, against the wilderness, against the craziness of the world. And we'll go ahead and start out with the great, the really good stuff. The cinematography and the visuals are amazing. They, some of the shots that Albert Hughes is doing in this movie, I mean, there's stuff that reminisces from 300 where... A lot of it's slow-mo, but a lot of it's like wide shots, and they mix the slow-mo, and let's say a bison's coming after Cody's character, you can see it slowly reach up, grab Cody, and throw him off the cliff, and I'm not spoiling anything because it's in the trailer, if you have seen the trailer, but just stuff like that, just the stuff in the natural environments, the uses of CG to make the sun kind of deteriorate the screen itself, um, there's he, his use of oranges and mottled colors kind of makes it like raw in a sense. So it's really interesting kind of a visual aspect. If you've seen 300, you kind of know where I'm getting at where it almost feels like paintings. Like you could take a shot and it feels like it could have been a painting or a still photograph of something that was in the past. And it's visually striking. It's quite amazing to see. Um, the CG is not always the best, but when it works, it's effective. And during the snowstorms, I mean, it really feels like they're in a snowstorm. And it's really interesting to see how he lingers on shots and them just walking. And just overall, it just feels like a very, very well shot movie. And a very interesting look to a movie that could basically have been a bland storytelling of a dog and a guy, a kid who bond together, which is what the story ends up being about. For the first half of the movie, it's about him trying to become more than he is and the second half is where he meets the wolf and that's where the movie falls apart the first half is interesting because it does show the dynamics between the father and the son and it shows that the two are kind of at ends of odds with each other but they want to you know take care of each other but when Cody's character, when the when they attack the bison, he falls off the cliff. The father kind of realizes that his son is lost. Therefore, he has to move on. And then you come to find out that his son is actually alive, but he doesn't know it. And then he has to track across the wilderness, you know, because he has these little things on his hand that uh, signify the Big Dipper. And it kind of shows his plight to getting back to his tribe. And along the way, he gets attacked by a pack of wolves. He injures one of the wolves. And that's where the movie kind of goes far, further where he befriends the wolf who helps him survive and you know it goes on from there and the, you know the whole story is about survival and the two become friends but the problem though is that in the midst of when this movie came out or when it was supposed to have come out it feels like the movie was edited more than it should have been for instance when you get to the wolf stuff it feels like they become friends too quickly and it feels like that time passage is so weirdly edited that it feels like it just goes on and then it just cuts and then it's like it feels like it's months later because when the from wolf and the and Cody's character meet it it's like in the middle of the summer the next thing you know it's in the middle of the winter and they bonded and they're attacking pigs you know to survive from food and the dynamic between the two is pretty pretty impressive you know they seem to match together well 
but it just it just feels oddly paced and it kind of falters and then the the journey to get back home it feels like it's too quick because it happens so late in the movie you when you see the trailers you see mostly just the wolf and the kid and then bonnie you think that's what the movie's going to be about it's not it's about first half about him you know being the kid that doesn't want to hurt animals to being the kid that survives and goes back to his family and it just like i said it just feels weirdly paced it's not a bad movie but it's not a particularly great movie because of that and i think it's because i mean if we don't if anybody doesn't know alpha was supposed to come out last year but it got pushed back several times which tends to happen in films that are either need to be reshot or just they don't work properly so they have to edit it and do things to it and i think this is what happened i think this was a longer movie um, there's parts where the wolf disappears with his tribe, but then it comes back. But there's not really any semblance of organization to it. It just feels like the wolf just comes back, and that's the end of it. And then there's this big reveal at the end, which doesn't really play very well. I mean, it's, it's kind of heartwarming, but it doesn't play very well in general. So it just feels oddly paced, I guess is the easiest way to put it. So it kind of downgrades the movie a little bit, in my taste. But the visuals and the, the cinematography and the look of the movie... It really gives it a distinct feel. It really gives a interesting look into what it could have been like 30,000 years ago or 20,000 years ago, whatever it is. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth. I'd say maybe wait till it comes on Blu-ray and check it for yourself because it's only 97 minutes long, but it feels weirdly paced, like I said, so it feels a little bit longer than it should, but it doesn't feel long. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's not the greatest of movies, but it's kind of like something that's interesting to watch more than it's interesting of a storytelling perspective. But that's, but if you've ever seen like Book of Eli or you've ever seen, you know, uh, From Hell, you know what the Hughes brothers style looks like. And Albert Hughes has that distinct style to him. And you can especially see it in the Book of Eli where everything's washed out, everything's black and gray. And this one's a lot of oranges and darker colors. So, but like I said, you know, take that from me if it's something you're interested in, definitely go see it you know that's what movies are for they're very subjective but you know with that that'll be our uh, take on alpha so if you like what you see check us out on facebook youtube audio boom you know twitter all that good stuff uh, as always thank you much so much for watching always email us at lapola 1138 at gmail.com but as with that we'll go ahead and head out thank you so much guys peace